Well, here now, Stephen Moore, chair of Freedom Works Task Force on Economic Revival. Steve, welcome. Uh, former Obama economic advisor Larry Summers wrote in the Washington Post that the Fed has been wrong in its assessments of inflation risk. He's worried about something called stagflation, which is high unemployment and high inflation, followed by a major recession. Uh, your thoughts there, Steve? Yeah, I have that same fear. And, you know, the Fed did take action today, as Jenna was just saying, but it was a Band-Aid on a heart attack patient. You know, uh, this, I, I think that they should have done more, and I think that they are way behind the curve uh, in terms of dealing with this inflation um, surge that we've seen, especially in the last few months. Let's not forget, if you just look at the last, you know, two months of data, we're on a, a inflation track now of, nine or 10 percent, which we haven't seen since Jimmy Carter was in office. So those are very troubling numbers. And I, I just feel like the Fed should be kind of ripping the Band-Aid off all at once. This idea of, you know, these quarter point increases over time is just going to delay the combating of inflation. By the way, the stock market responded positively because the the investors don't want to see those interest rates rise. But, you know, you have to take a little bit of short-term pain to get this inflation under control because if we can, if you let this fester, it becomes like a snowball rolling down a hill and it gets higher and higher over time. Uh, but, Steve, at the same time, is, is there the concern that if they raise, the Fed raises rates too fast, could they slow the economy down too much yeah, the, and, and, and risk a recession. Yes, you're right, Jenna. I mean, the Fed doesn't have any great options right now because they've been, they should have raised by a quarter percentage point a year ago. And so now they're playing catch up. They're still way behind the curve, in my opinion. And the problem, Jenna, is that if you let this inflation continue to, uh, uh, at this pace, you're talking about real damage to family incomes. You know, you'd have to see uh, all of us getting eight, nine, 10% pay raises just to keep up with the inflation rate right now. So you're right. There's not any great options out there right now. But I do think the best uh, option is to uh, is to get this inflation down as quickly as possible. Steve, we could see as many as five, maybe even seven rate hikes by year's end, bringing the total rate hike to about 1.9%. Uh, some experts are saying uh, you had mentioned it's time to catch up. We're way behind the curve. How high do you think rates need to go? Well, you know, when you think about it in the context of normal times, a 2% uh, Fed funds rate is not actually that high a rate. It's just that we've been living, you know, for many years now with basically 0% rates by the Fed. So I do think we need to re return to normalcy. And I'll say it again. If we continue to allow this inflation to rise at this current pace, and the latest numbers that just came out yesterday showed producer prices are rising almost 10%, then you have a problem that is going to be very, very difficult to get under control. All right, Stephen Moore with FreedomWorks. Always good to have you. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, guys.